Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Brooklyn Review. I'm Brian Vines, and it's Black History Month. Brooklyn was the stronghold of African American culture long before scholar Carter G. Woodson conceived of Negro History Week in 1926. America's father of black history wanted to educate people about African Americans' cultural backgrounds and achievements. On this edition of Brooklyn Review, we aim to continue his vision and share some of Brooklyn's black history and future. Though the official national celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is in January, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to honor the man and his vision. For 25 years, the Brooklyn Academy of Music has been honoring Dr. King and his contributions to global nonviolence and equality. Here are some highlights from this year's celebration. Welcome to the Brooklyn tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King, which we have started with such inspiring words and music. We come in gratitude for the prophetic voice and witness of the prophet of nonviolence, that drum major for justice, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King held a mirror with his strength. He held a giant mirror, his strength, his fortitude, his courage, his integrity. He held a mirror up to America, and he forced America to look at the real picture of America in that mirror. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. I like to talk about what I the the influence of, of Dr. King, and I like and and not by talking about him, but by having that influence come through me, and I'm very I'm very happy to be here. Who am I? I am an American from the soles of my feet to the hair that once adorned my bald head. An American whose black-skinned ancestors were stolen from their lives and cultures and piled in the holes of ships like so many sacks put of skin. Your hand together if you're free but above all, Dr. Martin Luther King was a man of action. His actions encouraged the actions of so many others, and together all of these individual actions forged a path to a better nation. And the real way we can live up to the memory of Dr. King is to do everything we can to get illegal guns off of our streets and to keep our children safe. It's a day of remembrance for me, um, what my uh, mother and father went through. I was born during the 50s and I remember looking at TV of Martin Luther King and all the struggles with the water and the hoses. And Anybody free today? Come on and help us sing it. Listen. To know what it's like not to be able to drink out of the same fountain or to eat in a certain restaurant or to be able to take your children to a park. All of that. So what he stood for and what he did has meant a lot. And, you know, I, I just can't forget that. I definitely think it's better, but I think that there's a really long way to go. <laughs> I think it would be really naive to think that we're all just like, you know, doing whatever we want with whoever we want, wherever we want. Like, there's still a lot of boundaries there. They're just less obvious. When Martin Luther King was doing his thing in this country, I was a little boy, would never know what was going on, never felt the sting of racism in the way I do today. So I believe that everything that Martin Luther King fought for is a fightable issue as we live now. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.